conviction. You know, God speaks to us. Have you ever sat down sometimes and you just have this idea and you feel like, really, you have to do this thing. You might ignore that idea, but the next time again, it comes. That is God speaking to you. Sometimes you can brush it off, but it keeps coming. That is the moment you should sit down, think about it, and write it down. Everyone ends up somewhere in life. But only people with a vision end up somewhere on purpose. So, without a vision for our lives, it's become it becomes impossible to achieve God's purpose. God speaks to us through His Spirit by giving us, giving us certain thoughts relating to our concerns. And that is how we are able to know the will of God for our lives. It takes time. But those same persistent thoughts, that imagination, through planning and action, you are going to realize that you are having a burning desire. And that burning desire is passion. Passion is when you come to a position where you realize that it is something bigger than you. Something that you cannot even accomplish on your own. Looking at it and even wondering what am I doing. There is a vision born. There is a purpose in revelation. Think about it. You know, many times people have had ideas. People have imagined, but any ending on imagination, that is merely dreaming. When you imagine and you write down something, then we have a visionary. But look at the graves. We have a lot of visionaries who've written things down. But those things have left to remain as papers. But when a visionary becomes a missionary, there we have a purpose and the man who's going to change the world meaning action. It is not enough to know. You need to act on the revelation. And purpose is not self-centered. Purpose deals with concerns, humanity. There's a lot of things going on around and God has placed in our hearts, based on the way he's created us, certain things that attract our attention. And if you focus fully, you're going to realize that you're going to re realize your purpose by pursuing that desire. Plan prayerfully. Pursue persistent to accomplish the vision that God has given you. But always knowing that God is the author and He is the finisher of the vision. Now, why is vision important? Vision is very important because, to be honest, before my life was aimless, before I had no purpose. In fact, I can say that I had a purpose because I was pursuing education, because I was pursuing to have a comfortable life. But I had no purpose because it, we could say, for lack of better terms, like it was purpose in the wrong direction. You, do you know that you can have a lot of good intentions but for the wrong thing? That is manly wisdom, but manly wisdom is foolishness to God. So, I'm challenging each and every one of us today to pray to God. But don't just end on prayer. You need to think, God has given you a mind. We are not robots. Don't just end on prayer. You need to think, God has given you a mind. We are not robots. God had put the potential in Peter to walk on water, but he doubted. Do you know that he could have walked on water? But he doubted. God says in James 1 verse 5, you want something, <laughs> you should pray for it and believe that it's going to accomplish. God is going to accomplish what you have prayed for. Now, I just want to talk about faith, prayer, and purpose, which is something that defines my life right now. Faith 
Guys, let me tell you something. Faith is believing beyond what you can see. Reality is not just what you can see. Let's take for instance, you buy a suitcase, right? You can see it, it's in your house. You know that it is reality because it is there. But even before you bought the suitcase and it was in your room, it already existed, you just didn't know it. You just now have the possession of that suitcase. You have a purpose. It is inside of you. God has put it inside of you from the way he's created you. But just because you have not realized it, that means that it is not there. Vision is very important because it sets the direction of our lives. How we are to spend our time, the movies we are watching, the hobbies we have, the friends we have, the goals we set, they are all in line with vision. You see, life is very boring, boring without passion because we are not really pursuing something that is beyond ourselves. But when you discover that thing that is beyond yourself, that is not just worth living for but dying for. Because once you accomplish your purpose, even when you die, it will forever be there because it is not yours. It is God's will. And God's will is the same yesterday, today and forever. We are just there to accomplish it in different phases of life. So, vision is important because it is a source of discipline. Just as the Bible says in Proverbs, that where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint. You can be sleeping the rest of your time just because the exams are done, because there is no vision, you see. But with vision, it chooses your future. With vision, you, it chooses your priorities, your use of time, your reading material, how to use your energy, and all those kind of things. And with vision comes joy. With vision comes fulfillment. With vision comes inspiration. And with vision, we are able to realize that the hand of God is in, all, is in all things. Even the minor opportunities that we may not see God working, God is actually there. And we appreciate how who God is. I just want to encourage us today, as we think about our vision, let's pray and believe that God has us on this earth for a specific purpose. We are not here to occupy a space. We are not here for ourselves. We are here for God. We are here so that His glory will become manifest in our lives. So as we think about it, do you think that you don't have a vision? You're wrong. God wants you to discover that vision that He has for you. He wants you to know that He is the only one that truly cares about you. Sometimes we think our vision for our lives is much more better than what God wants us to do. Maybe we think, oh, vision has to do with being an evangelist, a vision has to do with being a, a prophet and all that. No. We can have a vision for every area of our lives. You can have a vision for your education, a vision for your family, a vision to have godly children, a vision to have a, a good partner. And all this requires preparation through the word of God and by the help of the Holy Spirit, nothing is impossible. The Bible says that with God, all things are possible. So I want to encourage you today to pray for God to reveal to you your vision. Because the vision that you have will set a direction for your life. It helps you to focus on what God wants you to do. A lot of good things that we have around us could be obstacles to what God wants us to do. Sometimes we Christians, we only think about the bad things we're not doing. How about the good things you're doing that are taking your time from what God wants you to be focusing on right now? You see, the Bible says that everything you know is good but not all things are beneficial so we have to sit down and think about it I also have to sit down and think about God's vision for my life because it's important to me I want to have a good partner I want to have godly children happy and obedient children God to do for you so I really want us to pray about this trust God